Welcome to the Football Game Plan Network, where football makes sense. I'm Chris James, Senior Draft Analyst, over here at the Shrine Game East Practice with Garrick Dieter out of Alabama. So, Garrick, a couple of questions I wanted to ask you today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You know, anytime you get the opportunity to come out here and kind of show people what you can do, it's, a, it's always a great opportunity and got to take full advantage of it. Absolutely. So, I'm a former receiver. I know that back in the day I modeled my game after Chris mm -hmm. Carter. I loved making those amazing catches. Yep. What about yourself? Who would you model yourself after? Yeah, um, I grew up Packers fan, so I was always watching all the Packers receivers, Antonio Freeman, Donald Driver, and then now I really like to watch Jordy Nelson play. And uh, anytime I get the opportunity to kind of watch any of those guys, I try to take as much from them because, I mean, they're they're doing it at the highest level and having great success doing it. So Absolutely. And that's the big thing is having someone to aspire to, mm -hmm. someone to look forward to is huge. And as far as your game, I've seen you play inside, play the X, mm -hmm. play the slot. Do you have a preference or? You know, I thought I did, but, I mean, going to Bama, um, I was mainly playing slot. So... Um, really anywhere the coaches put me, I feel comfortable in now. I um, had a whole season playing in the SEC there. So um, if they put me inside, put me outside, I feel comfortable both ways right now. Okay. And you were a grad transfer. Yes, sir. Uh, at your previous program, any difference between Alabama and how they ran things? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's a little bit more solidified as a program. Um, just everything is kind of set in stone as Bowling Green or kind of the – any Mac school is kind of changing every couple of years. Um, Coach Saban's been at Alabama for, I think, 10 years or something like that. Yep. A, a decent amount of time. So um, he's kind of got that program, and everybody knows what the expectation is there. And, um, you know, just kind of being a part of that program, you can just see how, how those guys, how hard they work and how bought into their, to the Coach Saban's process they are. Especially when you have that much success, it's easy to buy into that yeah, process. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, now, let's say I was the GM. Mm -hmm and I was talking to you, interviewing you like right now. Anything you want to tell me about your game and why I should put you on my team? Uh, I think I'm a, I'm a, I'm a think I'm just an overall great football player. Um, I mean, I kind of do anything that the coaches ask for me. Um, if it's block, I'll be happy to block. If it's play special teams, I'll be happy to play special teams. And if they want me to make plays, I can make plays. So um, I feel like I can, I can do it all. I've, um, I feel like I've made the plays before. I feel like at BAM I made all the blocks and did all the dirty work, so I'm kind of used to that that role. So um, I just think that I'm a team I'm a team 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 first guy and um, feel like I can take advantage of any, any opportunity that's given to me. And I saw that on tape. I watched a lot of SEC football, and you were a guy who, if they needed someone to get back there and safe hands to, to catch mm -hmm. a punt, anything like that, you know, blocking downfield, mm -hmm. that's really what determines a receiver for me mm -hmm. as well. And last. Outside of football, is there anything you want people to know about yourself? Uh, I mean, I have two French Bulldogs I love to hang out with. So hey. anytime I get the any free time, I'm usually spending time with them and just kind of hanging out and playing with them. Oh, excellent. All right, Derek, thank you very yeah, much for your time. It. Football Game Plan, this is Chris James signing off.